much different is this offense to uh, to get used to to run to feel like you're comfortable with? I feel like um, with this offense, I feel more comfortable because um, it's similar to some something I ran with Coach Bell in in high school. So that was the main reason why I came in. I feel like his offense like similar to it, and like, I just feel more comfortable in this offense than the last one. What are some of those similarities that you feel comfortable with? Just like the RPO, the run game, you know, and just like with the RPO thing. You got three things to do, like read your option, like um, run pass options. So, like, that's the big thing we did in high school and with Coach Bell. I feel comfortable doing that. And it's similar to what we're doing here. What about the defensive scheme that you have to practice against? Is there vast differences from, you know, what Coach Dirk and Coach Boo are running, or is it similar? I mean, it's similar. I feel like um, with this one, they disguise. They disguise a lot better, you know. They throw a couple of tricks at us, but just still learning, you know. And how about from your receivers? Who, who's kind of standing out for you right there? I feel like a lot of receivers standing out, but um, DJ Turner had a big, had a big, um, had a big day Tuesday. He's he had been doing very good for us. Him, Demas, um, got Jayshon Jones too, still making plays for us. There's a lot of people. And tight end is that a position that you see, you know, getting utilized more moving forward? I know there's a grad transfer that'll be joining you guys in the summer, but you have um, uh, Chig and, and a couple other guys there. You I see like, that being uh, an important position. Yeah, with well, him, um, I feel like with Chig, um, Noah too, they, them guys coming along too. I feel like. Getting the ball more, you know, we're not we're not giving up like um, first read, you know. So like they open to the dumb, take it down, check down, give it to them. Type. NPS Nonprofit Services has the technology and know-how to achieve your nonprofit goals. We have all the tools that you need for your nonprofit to be successful, including tech support, consulting, development strategies, and business continuity to make sure your data is safe on-prem or in the cloud anywhere all the time. Call NPS at 877-797-8776. We're easy to reach and easy to work with. A couple of years ago when Kasim was coming in here, a lot of people assumed he was going to be the starting quarterback and you beat him out, uh, you know, for that opener in Texas. Now, uh, you know, they haven't announced it yet, but obviously Josh Jackson's come in from Virginia Tech. How, how similar is that for you? And, and do you, you know, feel like, uh, you know, you have a chance to, to earn at least, a, a, you know, people looking at you seriously for that starting job going into the summer? Like him, um, I hung out with Josh where you visit, you know, he seemed like a cool dude. Like, we would take anybody to make the quarterback room stronger, you know, so. You know what I'm saying? We always work with new people in the room. No beef, no harm. You know, so like he's a good guy. You know, we just gonna both just gonna, we both just gonna have to compete. Like all of us, really, it's gonna be competitive. We we'll be competitive and just have to work. What was the process like? If there was a process of you deciding that this was still where you wanted to be, even though there are quarterbacks coming in? It was never like a um, like a um, cultural thing or like a competition thing. It was just like. Which fits me, and I feel like the pass offense was a good offense, but I feel like it just didn't fit me as well as this offense did. So, like, Coach Laws got hired, that's why I took my name off. How many hours does it take in the weight room to look like that? I know not too big. If you had a picture of you when you were a freshman in the braces and you came in for your first interview, you have grown in many ways, but how many hours does it take to get that much muscle? I mean, I give it to, um, to both shrimp staff, you know, but with this shrimp staff, I feel like it's a more positive energy, but like, Work on different things, got different muscles moving. So like I feel like it's a big thing with them too. Like if like they watch us they watch us and like the pass code like the pass on um, shrimp staff did too. So like they did a big uh, well obviously <laughs> I guess they did a good job. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, and, yeah. and with that, you know, positive energy, how's the atmosphere, you know, different now under Coach Loxley and with this new coaching staff? This is this is a that's is a nice energy, a great energy for real, for real. Like everything like a family thing. Make everybody come together, be together, you know, be all as one. I thought it was a good, like, good way to be. How much has the, the way the Ohio State game ended and then Penn State kind of stuck with you over the course of the offseason? Um, I would use, like, right now, like, I was talking to, um, been talking to Dustin too in the past, but, like, right now I'm just using the Ohio State game as a as a, a motivator for real. Like, coming up short like that, I told myself, like, I told a couple of teammates too, like, we can't come up short no more. It's a good team like that. Like we got to just bang it out, come out with the win. That's right now. That's what I've been using since like when the workouts and coming to spring ball. Like just been motivating me, just making sure. Even though I'm just throwing like extra, just I always had it in the back of my brain. Just can't come up short. Just keep going hard and just pushing ourselves. Have you re rewatched the play apart apart from film? I guess that next week or. Oh, definitely. But like, oh. <laughs> right now, like not no. Oh, I want to say like growing up, I had rivals, but like it's not a rival with them. Just think of like. 
how close we were to beating them. So like just me watching them play or just me watching that play over and over just kind of throw me off a little bit. Cause I feel like we was there. You know how long did how long did it hurt me? I'm sorry. Hold up. How, how long did it take you to get over that game, and did it affect you even the next week going into Penn State? I'm uh, uh, I'm standing out over it. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm standing out over it, but like you know, the next week I try to get over it, which I did. You know, me and Coach kind of had talk. You know, he put me, he gave me some um, nice words. You know, kind of put it in the past, but I did for like I did for that game. I'm not gonna lie, I did for that game, but then that like. Like when the game was over, like that game was in the back of my head because like that was a game like that took us to a bowl game. It, you know what I'm saying? That's how close we were to that. So when, when you look at that game up until that point, things were you would take a lot of good away from that. I yeah. mean, do, do you kind of try to do that as well from that game? That I mean, I do, but that one play just it hurts. Like it's still going, it's still going to hurt. You know what I'm saying? So you just gotta just I just use the motivation. Like I said, like that play is still going to be in the back of my head to play them again. Uh, we, oh, sorry. We, I guess we haven't talked to you since then, but do you, what do you feel like happened on that play? Did you just, I mean, I mean, it was like how the play was, how the play was designed to go was a rub route. Mm-hmm. Come in with the rub route with pick, throw at the table. Like on that play, they took two to go with Tavon. So then, like, I was decided to run at one point, but then I looked back and like I just seen like an open guy got the big eyes. <laughs> threw it, got in my face. So I was just like, ah. Maybe put a little bit of touch on it, like, oh, I just thought of, like, me and Jones talk about it all the time. Every time so we'd be throwing, like, singly, like, just me and him one on one, probably going to red zone, do the same thing. I roll out just, and I just throw a tempers after, throw the ball away somewhere in the sky. So, I don't know, we're trying to see, like, what it was. Like, so he came in, so he came in more. Should I throw it out? Should I, like, throw us, like, a nice touch pass? So, I don't know. That's the biggest thing we've been trying to figure out. There was a play about 10 minutes before that where you threw the ball about 55 yards in the air. Hit number twenty one down the right sideline. Mm-hmm. What kind of range and accuracy do you have now? Oh, uh, uh, I'm not big on talking about myself, but um, I was, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. I mean, like, I feel like throwing the ball was never like me being accurate throwing the ball since I came out of high school was never like a big problem. I mean, it came a problem in college because of, like everything like was just going so fast. So like. My first time like feeling comfortable in the game was Texas the game I got injured, like just throwing the ball, everything just moving like a nice game speed. I feel like everything my freshman year was just going just felt so fast besides like the running game. Like pass game I feel like dropping back, I was just slow on reads. And slow like going to the next progression. I feel like when I came back to Texas game, when I came to Texas game, everything was just you know what I'm saying, just going in the right direction to like the injury. Ty, um, I think it was after the first spring practice that Coach Loxley said that Coach Montgomery would be calling the plays this year. Obviously, Coach Lox will have uh, you know a say in it, but he said Coach Montgomery is going to be the guy. What type of vibe and culture has Coach Montgomery brought to the offense? And I guess what are your thoughts overall on him calling plays and him as a coach? I like I like him as a coach a lot. Like I feel like we still building. I feel like he's just trying to build a bond with everybody in the room, in the QB room too, and with. The, and with the offense, but like he's a good guy, like always upbeat, like he's happy, smiling. You know what I'm saying? His personality, his personality is just like just a happy person, like he always smiling, like that's all you gonna see him doing. Like when you see him get a little angry, you tell this when like okay, like yeah, time to like to push it or step it up some. But other than that, like he's a good guy. Like I feel like what well, is what I've been saying out of him. He's a good guy. Is there one like word or characteristic that you would use to describe his offense, his type of offense? Fast. Fast, like moving, like we're trying to be, trying to like step as fast as we can, like and just get the defense out of position. Coach, Coach said the other day he has not watched any uh, film of you uh, or any of the quarterbacks because you're putting a new system in. Have yeah. you watched the film of Alabama, like what they do with their, what he did with their quarterbacks last year, what he did with Hurts last year, and yeah, I mean, no, not Hurts with, uh, with yeah, I watched a little, target. I watched a little, I watched um, them a little bit just. But I seen him. But I seen him do it too. And I seen him do it. Um, Hurts, you can tell like the difference and what he did with them. He just go off skill position. You know, so he go off to like the player skills. Like, I thought that's the big thing. That's a good thing. In terms of learning a new offense for anyone, but especially a quarterback, how important is the spring period as opposed to maybe just a typical spring? And the spring, the spring is a learning. It's like a learning thing. So like the spring, you have to install, and like every time like a new install come out, then like the next day. So like basically like you gotta learn this install, then like learn, learn another one that same week. So I don't think it's just keep learning, keep learning, keep learning, and see how much can you build in and put in your head. Like how like how can you get better the next day and the next day and the next day? Do you how? Th- oh, go ahead. 
Uh, how excited, you know, was this team going into the spring, you know, just knowing that, you know, you're playing under Coach Loxley, you know, who had, you know, such great success at Alabama? I mean, you know, it was a good thing. I, I got people at Alabama, like friends at Alabama, that was saying, like, he was a good guy. Told a couple guys, you know what I'm saying? I knew people here that said they knew him. They were saying he was a good guy and all that. So I was just like, I felt comfortable with him. Once me and him I had talked before. So, like, I was just like, all right, like, trust is in. Like, I'm just here to work for whatever, whatever we got in store. How, how tough was last season for you in terms of it seemed like after, I think, maybe the fumble at uh, Bowling Green, it, it, you, you, you never really got a chance to, to show yourself. And, and you play well, like you played well at Michigan. You played well a couple other times, but you never really, you know, it, it took until Kasim to get hurt for you to really get that opportunity. How, how difficult was that for you? I mean, it was difficult because, like, going into the season, I don't know, I'm pretty sure y'all probably knew too, like, so my playing two quarterbacks, whatever. I don't know, I'm not sure, but it was never like it was never like a bad thing for her. like when he was playing. You know, I was by his side regardless of the situation. Me playing, not playing, you know. So like me and him, I was just like going behind his back. And in the other game, I man, I was in the room other night talking like this. The night before the game, we was talking. I was like, bro, just ball. You know, put everything to the side. Whatever you got, to just ball. But like that's why I kind of like you know what I'm saying. Like when he got hurt, I kind of felt it. Like before that, I felt it for him. So I was like, dang, like. You know what I'm saying this is a bad way to like to get a position. You know, what I'm saying I wasn't even happy with getting a position like that. You know, what I'm saying so that, that kind of messed me up a little bit too. And I told him that before too. So like, that's not. And I told a couple players that too. I was like, there's not a way that you'll want to get a position, especially if you got a bond with the kid. Like y'all been through rehab together. Y'all been did things together. Y'all hang out like, and for like you to play another kid get hurt, that's a bad way to get a position. So like. You no, said that uh, you were uh, you know, more confident now in your sort of coming off that injury. Do you feel that you know in, in spring ball when you're, when you're out there? Oh yeah, definitely. Like um, just the way my leg feel right now, I just feel stronger. Like with the brace, I wear the brace because like just because my I feel like my core got to get a little bit stronger. But then that like last year, I feel like I was more hesitant. You know what I'm saying? Like I was, like of course protect my body, but just I was just more hesitant last year. This year, I feel like I'll be more. I still be protected, but just just like running running wise, and like I won't be as hesitant, like timid to cut off my leg like I was last year. I say, is the speed more. back? Speed, yeah, the straightaway I'm, speed. I mean, I, I, I ran good a couple times in the winter, got out a little bit, but like probably be something we gotta see. <laughs> I, 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 really, I really haven't like with this offense. I really haven't. I don't got a chance like the, you know what I'm saying? Do like a little power re power re. Yeah, like we got it in, but like mm. most of like power re. Like I said, RPO. Yeah, well, you you ran that in that two minute drill. You had a couple. You yeah. finished one of them off like that, but it wasn't yeah. at full speed. Yeah, it was just like a little jog, like a little stride. So yeah. like, yeah, I never really, like I haven't like really ran, ran, ran. Mm -hmm. Like I tried my speed since I since I, well, since I felt like my leg got strong. Coach, oh, go ahead. Yeah, you good. All right, <laughs> coach. Coach talked about this is all about competition, and and he's seen. You know, he said you've asserted yourself. You're you're a pretty competitive guy. How competitive are you? I mean, how how badly do you want to be the guy next year? I mean, bad. Like I won't say it's bad. Of course, bad. But like, just the thing of just growing up, we all been just the game of football about competing. Like I played three, like played three sports growing up. So every sport, like you got to compete. So that's all. That's all I knew was compete. Like it's never been a been a thing where. You don't compete, you know what I mean. So like that's just competing, just like in a good way. Like we positive with each other, but at the end of the day, we know we're trying to do better than one another. You know what I'm saying? But we also help each other out with it. Like we'll talk to each other. Like okay, how did you feel about this play? Like what you saw, what you didn't see. So we always like motivate each other and push each other, but we also compete against each other. Thanks, Pip. Thanks.